Parade, and I should be able to bridge a gap between that and a smiling child in a vest of cap who leans back on a lamppost. You'd think the stink of a hospital meal and the drops of spit on steel would be enough to remind me the fact that we'll likely collapse every line that we tap most. Uh, now nah, fuck it, I'm running on luck. I just clutch my cup like a pit bull. Simple math should add to a fateful negation that's way too painful to deal with. And if I shift my weight and let it hang and left, I'm just overcompensating for this pain in my chest. And if you synthesize a piece of mind and mail it away for free, that shit still ain't for me. I gotta find a way to steal it. Thank you for this precious gift. I don't think I asked for this. Okay. When you get the call that says your friend is dead, don't bother with regret, that's just too obvious. Instead, do something crazy. Collect the remnants of the stinking dead, inject the mess directly in your wrinkly head, and say goodbye to aging. And we've been assured this really, really works. So come summer, some of us are gonna look a couple months younger. We'll use our dead relatives to fuel our new Hummers and keep us celebrating these jagged knives like Grandma used to make. And these apple pies are never gonna friendly faces. So add the fries and fucking buckle down for this unpleasant road trip we've planned you. Oh, your language and your hats are dated, and we cannot wait to name your cats. Your black witch alienates the major demographics who would choose to take vacations on your land. So we'll lose you in the basement, and there ain't shit you can do. Thank you for this precious gift. I don't think I asked for this. Okay. Well, I've been told explicitly our needs are a deficiency. So when I sleep between shifts, it's in parentheses drawn in the bottom of a column. When I get out of bed, I've bled through the spreadsheet. And anybody telling us that money don't buy happiness is full of fucking shit or they're the Beatles. And a week old piece of pizza needs to be eaten before you even think to breach the nails or the skin or the red meat. So come on down to therapy, I know you're as scared as me. We clutch our cups like a pimple does. This blood just gets sick of filling in and wish to wriggle free. <gasps> Or really just it seems it does to me Because I'm dreaming of a reason One can bleed enough Redeem himself and sleep it off Suddenly I've come to see My blood is really bubbling From underneath a hundred things And someone dreaming stuck to me But even once I peel them up And sweep them underneath the rug An unforeseeable degree of the debris Has clung to me I mean to come completely undone We'll see who's running me And clean the rust between us Clean the rust between us Yeah things that people do for the lost and broken people that the lost and broken people really appreciate and this is one of those things I don't know which one of you did it but thank you for this precious gift as you can see It's very obfuscated. Um, it says something I should get to a safe place. To a safe and warm place before I figure out what it means or what it says. And I just keep it for now. And it keeps me calm until I can get to that safe place. Thank you for this precious gift. Something matter at all. 
Mm-hmm. Good morning. Uh, when I was 19 years old, I came out as having a mental illness, and my life has been this ever since. Whew. Whew. Don't ever talk about your mental illness ever to anyone, ever. I promise you, here's why. Uh, when I was 19, I came out. Mother whoa, doubled down on bad behaviors that made me degrade. After mother, it was huh, 21, moved to huh, downtown Baltimore, Park Avenue. Whoa, blood on the streets, literally. Kara was a heroin addict, wanted to kill herself, so she loves me. That's how this works. If you want to kill yourself, you love me. Because you're helpless, hopeless, worthless. I can hypnotize you like boop. And you're like doing every goddamn thing I want. It's ridiculous. I'm not even going to tell you the people I've lived with, but every single person since I was 19 years old, only because I was honest about mental health, has done this. Oh, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> And this is hard. This thing's really rusty. So, so is me. So, is, so am I. Yeah, right. Okay. Whew, the thing. We finally found the imagery that maybe somebody will listen to. Because uh, it's iconic. That's how this works. I'm just shitty at this. Because, you know, the artists usually aren't honest. And that's why you don't kill them as much. Uh, eventually, communication not being there creates like this immersion thing. And that saw comes up. <laughs> and that saw takes my teeth and hurts me medically. People will punch me. People punch me on sight sometimes because I, I have whatever code you want to be. Psychic vampire, the shine, don't care. Use whatever code you're comfortable with to stop killing your artists. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, my friend, he's good. He's my only supporter on Patreon. Check that shit. He's a trusted friend. I wouldn't let him do this to me otherwise. Other people are referrals. It's very complicated. I'm safe. Don't you freak out. That's what makes people worse. Okay? We've got our shit. We've got our shit. Handled. On lock. Leave us alone. To do it. So I can be safe. I can reset in seconds. But y'all keep fucking poking at me. Stop fucking poking at the mentally ill. Oh my god. Just let us heal for a damn five minutes. Okay. Talk to you soon when I'm coherent. Um, right? Like I've been asking you to let me do for five fucking minutes. My name is Joel Elliott, and this is entitled Problems. Poetry scrawled with sidewalk chalk on the backs of promotional posters help to foster the notion that many have that I would be better off under the care of physicians in a hospital setting. They are not incorrect. In this particular instance, the only way they are correct that I would be better off under the care of physicians in a hospital setting is that I could ask the doctor whether or not I could borrow his pen. I lost mine. Pen, that is, not mind. Although the grasp I have on the latter is tenuous, being assaulted time after time, silent insults from your own mind is a strenuous way to go about being. What you're seeing when you're saying my behavior is kind of crazy is just maybe simply me solving problems that you cannot see. Who wouldn't be better off under the care of physicians in a hospital setting? So let's stop pretending that finding a person whose words and whose actions don't meet expectations warrants celebration through relativism that we are much better than they. Let's all agree that the crazies among us are just solving problems that we cannot see. Never went back. Home.
Cause it wasn't my idea of things I'd like to be It's not good enough for some, but it is for me the zebra is a part of this random experience generator that somebody's put here on this piano in Rocket City. I'm a stray animal in Rocket City, and I tend to visit these pianos. So Zippy the Zebra, yeah. <sighs> Zippy. Uh, don't watch my other stuff. I get into some really deep mental health subjects, so unless you're ready, 
Don't watch anything else on my channel except for this, Zippy. I don't know if you're ready. Actually, it's the adults that have struggles with it. Anyway, uh, I'll do the things that it says on the thing. I'll tag you. And thanks, this is fun.